Yo, yo, what's up guys? Talking Man here. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys a guide to Bloodlines. Yes, we're playing a Naruto game, guys. But before we start this video, big, big shout out to Christian slash Owen. He really helped me out in the game. I was like new, taught me everything. So shout out to him. Can I get a hashtag Podgers in chat for him, guys? And also, thank you guys for 69k subscribers. Next goal, 70k. But yeah, if you guys haven't subscribed yet, subscribe, turn on that bell. I'm gonna start posting more content about this game, more showcases, guides, all that stuff. And if you haven't joined my Discord yet, join it. We do a lot of giveaways in there. We have people teaming up for boss fights, just playing together, helping each other level up. And we even have a trading chat in this overall chill server. If you guys wanna join that Discord, it'll be in the description and comments below. But yeah, other than that, let's get straight into this guide. All right, as you guys can see, when you guys load into the game, this is the menu. The thing that you're gonna to wanna to do if you're new is start a new game. And the controls, this is important guys, always look at the controls. So you can see, double tap W is how you run. Q is your dashing, jump, and then of course F is your block. To talk to people, you gotta press E, you can't click on them. And sometimes there's like downhills, there's slopes. Control is how you slide down through them and uh, it's just faster. V is how you carry and B is how you execute. And then the server list, I believe this is where you join your friends. But yeah, let's go continue. So you guys, I am a Uchiha, and I got a sword. All right, guys, this thing right here, this is very important. The shard looking thing, whenever you see one, always like click on it, click E or something to unlock it. Because this is what you use to travel to places. It's like fast travel. And you can also act as a bunch of things with this. Like if I press E, you can travel, have like three places unlocked, then your skills. Right now, I only got this unlocked so far. Substitution and uh, Chakra Tree Jump. Chakra Tree Jump. This is really useful because I fast travel, like jumping on trees and everything. And the more you unlock, of course, like, because of course it's a skill tree. If you return, you also have your settings here. If it's too much for your PC, you can like turn down the graphics. Cinematic mode, you could turn that on. You have your item display, everything. Then you have server list. And yeah, so whenever you guys see a tracker point, go unlock it, guys. So let's go travel real quick. Let's go back to my town. This is where I originally spawned from. If you're in Uchiha, I think you spawn here. But if you're like other ones, I think you spawn in like different kind of areas. Okay, this is my area right here. Now I'm gonna show you guys around. Every area has shops you could sell stuff to. You can heal up places, ramen shops, sword shops, healer, the person, and then the person that collects jewelry. And look guys, one way of making money really easily in this game is through selling stuff. That's how I got my sword, and that's how I unlocked some stuff in my skill tree. You can even get armor with that. Literally, it's so easy to get money in this game guys. I see everyone doing it the hard way, but literally just looking for jewelry, looking for fruits and then selling it. Easy way to make money, guys. I'll show you guys real quick. Here's how you can get fruit. Every single tree, I believe, has like a fruit that spawns on it. But some are like, some trees don't have it because probably other people already took it. But it's easy, guys. I got this all in less than 10 minutes, I believe. You can see this doesn't have any but look that that bush right there has it this bush right here guys see it has like a pear on it some some bushes have like three fruits on it sometimes and there's like different values on each fruit i believe some sulfur two real some most sulfur one but yeah you can you could honestly just hop servers getting fruits selling it over and over again then you have like a huge boost on your game Look, I'll show you guys real quick. So if you go to this fruit shop right here, tell your stuff to him. Sell it in the bulk. See, I got two Rio from that. I got it easily too. Because you see those noobs just keep grinding for those shards. They're weak. They keep dying easily. But once you have like a good start, like you have a weapon, you have armor. That's when I recommend doing those training grounds missions. And then once you have everything, your armor, your sword, that's when you can go to the training grounds, guys. See this place right here, training grounds. You can travel there and you could farm these dudes. Look at that. You just gotta keep hitting this over and over again until you like an NPC spawns. See this dude right here, guys? He has no weapon. He's gonna struggle. 
But if you want to try this so you could honestly do it too, but but you might have to get used to the controls and everything. But yeah, keep hitting this over and over again, and then an uh, NPC should spawn. He drops armor, pick that up, and you could sell that for real. I'll show you guys real quick. Sometimes it takes a while. Oh my god. Where did the other dude go? Look, he got the armor. See that, guys? I got the armor piece. You go back to your shop. Right here. And... He goes to your merchant place. Oh, there's people fighting here. I think if you go over there, you can sell it. Well, I don't think it's a good time to go there real quick. Dude just died, oh my god guys, he's murdering people, oh my god. I'm about to get high sin, huh? Alright, let me go get out of here guys. <laughs> let me go to a peaceful server, you know? Alright, hopefully we're good now and no one kills each other here. Oh, am I in a new server? So you guys can see, if I go to this dude, I can tell him my uh, armor for 10 Rio. Bam, look, easy 10 Rio. It's up to you how you want to grind. You could you could fight or you could get fruit easily. And now uh basically just explore the world, guys. Explore the world, explore the world, find places. You'll eventually see the training ground, guys. I can't really show like the way there because everyone spawns somewhere else. I spawn here. If I spawned here, I can show you where to go. But if you spawn somewhere else, I can't explain that. Because I don't even know myself the whole entire map yet. But yeah, I suggest like traveling around at least once you have a sword. And if you guys don't know already, each uh, spawn comes with a sword shop. You can buy kunais, you can buy kunais, swords. Look guys, this is the dude that helped me out. And I also forgot to mention guys, you guys see this green bar right here? That's your life. And I mean like, if you keep dying over and over again, like if you keep getting executed, this thing slowly goes down. And once it's at zero, you're done guys. Just like deep woken, you're gonna restart. But there's a... Uh, fruit we could uh which can increase it it looks like a opo fruit but it's green i heard so if you ever see those use it and i'll go up and another thing guys to bring up your health you could either go to the shop at your spawn or you can go look for fruits and you can eat them and it slowly goes up i just found out if you break i just found out guys if you break those crystal shards the ones where you sit on and everything oh my god no way no way i'm gonna die right here Oh my god, guys, I nearly died from that. Oh my god. I saw this dude executing people. I got lucky and got away. Look at that dude, still chasing others. But yeah, I couldn't even explain it because that dude was like chasing me. Look at that, guys. Dude is really trying to kill that Jeremiah. Dude. Oh my god. You can destroy it and you can get shards from this. But the only downside to this is, uh, if you destroy it, you can no longer use it. So I suggest you destroy the ones that you don't really use. So yeah, guys. And also, elements. You could unlock it. You could unlock any elements. You could unlock any elements, guys. And for elements, you guys can see, if you unlock this, these two, and then these two on the bottom, and then chakra point, and then chakra pellet, you can choose what nature you want. You can have all natures, I believe. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much the quick guide right there. If you guys found this video helpful, Drop a like guys, subscribe, and yeah, let me know what videos you guys want to see. Hope you guys have a good day, enjoy the video, and I'll see you guys in the next vid. Peace.